Hey guys, Ronald or Taylor here, and today I'm back with another Dead Matter video. It's been a while, uh, they've been very, very radio silent again since the last one back in December. But today we got some good news and a bit of an update on what is going on. So guys, if you do enjoy these videos, especially Dead Matter videos, and want to keep up to date with the game and how it's progressing, then do make sure to subscribe and have that bell notification active so you never miss one of my Dead Matter videos. With that being said, let's jump straight into it. Now this one isn't a whole lot of fancy pitches and new updates. And that's because the next update 0.6.0 is mainly going to be on improvements, bug fixes and mechanic changes. So with that being said, let's jump straight into it. All right, folks, I think it might be a good time to sit down and talk about the current situation and what's going on with the new update for Dead Matter. As quite a few of you have noticed, this update is taking a while and this was to be expected due to a number of important changes taking place like the jump to Unreal Engine 4.26 which had brought us a ton of useful new features that will greatly aid the overall development of Dead Matter. It also brought us some major recurring bugs to iron out before we were able to consider an ETA. The good news is though that the ETA for the next update is looking to be within the next two weeks. This update was actually posted on the 31st of January. So we're looking at around sort of the next 10 days until we get an update to the Dead Matter game. So guys, again, a little bit of heads up. This isn't gonna be the most exciting video. That's not a whole bunch of new videos to show you, but I do want to keep this channel updated with everything Dead Matter. So that's why I'm doing this video. I was thinking about, you know, sort of giving it a miss because it's a pretty much just a wall of text, but I guess some of you might wanna to listen to me read it out. So anyway, let's carry on. We've been working on a number of critical additions and fixes to the game for 0.6.0. The highlight reel includes Kyle's new Infected, which should be substantial change to the way Dead Matter works and plays. Prior to the launch of the closed alpha, our plans had been to have Infected that spawned in two ways. Those that existed naturally in the world, providing an ongoing presence for players to contend with as they explored, and infected that spawned when players undertook actions that created a lot of noise or drew a lot of attention. In the lead up to the closed alpha, this system, while hardly perfect, was at least functional at a core level. However, under the hood, there were many issues that were laying dormant. As work continued on the game, these issues began to rise to the surface by the time the closed alpha was going out to the public. Our bare bones but functional AI solution was broken more often than not. So this is pretty much about how the infected just weren't working correctly within the game, although they had the base system there. So an example of this is when you fired a gun, a ridiculous amount of zombies just like spawned out of nowhere and surrounded you and it was very, very hard to deal with. And a few other things like the path and just wasn't quite right. They would get stuck in houses and things like that. So pretty much they're rebuilding the system. Focus shifted to re-examining the systems. Taking the lead on that, Carl has been rebuilding our infected in a manner that would address the bugs and flaws inherent to the old systems. So the new system makes fundamental changes to how infected exist in the world and how they respond to stimulus. First, infected will no longer spawn in response to noise cues. To make up for this, infected now exists in the world in greater numbers and do their own thing until disturbed by players or another cue that grabs their attention. Infected will normally wander over to investigate. So yeah, now when you fire a gun, you're not gonna have zombies just run out of trees randomly. Now let's say if you fire a loud weapon, they're gonna come over and see what's going on. So you do have to still be very careful because there's gonna be a higher number of zombies within the vicinity. And again, a little bit here about the poor pathfinding, which we already talked about, but yeah, it's fully revamping the infected and NPCs, which is a huge move for the game. So for 0.6.0, the first iteration of these infected changes will be out for the closed alpha backers to test. While there's still work to be done, they should be significantly more interesting to interact with and less broken than before. So great news, all of those changes, or at least some of them, the first sort of iteration will be in the closed alpha. While that's been underway, our survival mechanics and underlying systems have been seeing crucial work. I always felt like Dead Matter's survival mechanics just weren't quite there for a survival game. 
so this is exciting news. Systems such as those used for managing hunger, thirst, stamina, blood and overall character health have all been iterated on because it was clear that the systems in place weren't very engaging to interact with and that the player just wasn't getting the information they needed, which is pretty much exactly what I felt and a lot of others felt as well. Elements of the survival stat systems now provide information to the player more clearly. You'll be able to tell what your character needs at a given time and you'll be given a more reasonable window of time to address those needs while still receiving debuffs when conditions are critical. As well as that, they've also been working on stamina regeneration and it's now impacted by a number of stats such as your hydration and hunger. Like I said, I felt that Dead Matter's survival mechanics just weren't there for a survival game. This is sounding very promising. And as well as tweaks to the stamina system, they've also added a new form of stamina, combat stamina. And this is basically an abstraction of the adrenaline burst you get in a dangerous situation. And it's meant to allow more wiggle room to act when you're in a fight. So this is really cool. I guess kind of think of this as when you're playing Daisy and you pop an epinephrine, you get that sort of time where you can sprint and run away from a firefight and rethink your situation. So this is really cool. I do like this change. So talking about characters and how they behave, one of the most exciting changes in the next update is as follows. Character creation itself. As it stands, the options for perks in the current release don't do much for the game, be it an occupational perk or a selected perk. Many simply aren't useful or conductive to interesting gameplay. As such, we've went through and revisited many of our perks, cutting those that didn't fit with the gameplay we want to encourage, and adding a number of new ones that give players more options for character specialization, such as making a player character more resistant to pain. We've also taken the time to revisit occupations in the game, rework in the names and perks available to them and temporarily removing a few until gameplay systems have matured enough to make them viable choices for players. Once the systems they rely on have been added, they will be restored to the game. As part of these changes, our character art team has been given a pass to occupational starting outfits and to aid with getting our character artwork out of the door at a solid pace, we've brought on a new character artist. Toby has been taken on reworking in our firefighter outfit to better fit with the game setting and the look and feel that we're aiming for with Dead Matter. While it won't be in for 0.6.0, it's coming down the line and should make for a fantastic addition for players. We've also added a new RCMP outfit to the game and this one will be in 0.6.0. It all does look really nice. The character in this as well looks so, so much better than the current characters. And uh, you know, with new character artists, new hirings going on, I'm sure this game is just going to be more and more polished and a lot nicer to look at. So yeah, there you have it. A lot going on for the next update. Not many new additions, but we expected that. More of bug fixes and improvements to the game's back end and some of the survival mechanics as well as some of the game features. So I'm really excited about this update. I'm really interested to see how it plays now. Um, I, I've got to be honest, I'm excited for the future of Dead Matter. We knew it was going to be a rocky start and boy was it a rocky start. I feel excited because I know what this game means to the devs and I know a lot of you are going to disagree with me. That's fine. Let me know your feelings in the comments. I do like interacting with you and you know, chatting about the future of survival games. But yep, yeah, that's going to be it from me today. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. I know it's a little bit, not boring, but a little bit different to the other Dead Matter videos in the way that it's just more information rather than pictures and videos. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. And if you did, let me know by leaving a comment or a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all things survival, Dead Matter, open world, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and have that bell notification active. But anyway, I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.